This video is going to be on uh, finding vacuum leaks with propane. Now I've got two different uh, tools here. Uh, this one over here on the left is uh, kind of a fancy tool it's made by Kent Moore. It's a flow gauge. So you turn on the propane, you push this button right up here, and how much flow. propane you're flowing out at a, at a given time. They're kind of expensive to find one of these things. They're, these flow meters are really difficult to find as well. So I'm going to show you my backyard um, to a homemade tool. What this is, this is just a propane torch that I got from Home Depot. Uh, you can buy them at uh, secondhand stores and stuff, almost free. And what I did is basically just plumbed on a tube and then I just used an old ballpoint pen as kind of a pointer. And so you crack the, the valve open here so the propane's flowing through and you just go through and you find your, your vacuum leak. So I'll demonstrate how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is start the engine up and the idea behind finding a vacuum leak with propane is you're just going to take this, you're going to turn on the propane, and then you'll follow all of the vacuum lines. So whatever vacuum lines you see, like there's a little one right here for the, the fuel um, regulator, and just follow the vacuum line right here, just shooting propane at it. And when you find the vacuum leak, you'll, have a, you'll see a spike in RPM or the engine will stall and that way you found your vacuum leak. So you can go around the intake manifold gaskets, you can go down inside here, inside where the intake manifold gasket is, and all those things. So you want to make sure that you travel all the way around your vacuum hoses. A good source for finding out where your vacuum hoses are is that first exercise that I had, to do, had you do in week one, which was uh, the VIN number and emissions label uh, exercise. If you look on your uh, emissions label, a lot of times it'll have a vacuum diagram on there as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start the engine, and then I'm going to uh, check this for vacuum leaks. So you just want to crack this open so it's just open up just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to hear, so I usually just put it on my cheek so I can feel how much uh, propane is coming through here. And then basically what I'm doing is just going around all of the seals, all the vacuum hoses, to see if I can find a leak anywhere. I don't see a leak anywhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a leak in the system and then we'll see if we can find it. Okay, I have a vacuum leak in the engine and I'm going to turn on the propane and when I come around here to the vacuum leak, see how the engine smooths out? To move the vacuum leak away, do that again, I found my vacuum leak. So it's real simple to use, a couple, uh, couple of precautions on this is you want to make sure you check your ignition system first. You don't want a uh, spark plug wire that's zapping the ground or something like that and then squirting propane around it because if you have an ignition source you could actually have the propane light off. So you just need to make sure that your ignition system is, is good and working okay, and then you're, you're pretty good. And as long as you use just a small amount of propane, so just open it up just a little bit, uh, you'll be fine. Um, and if it does catch on fire, shut the propane off and you're fine. And uh, it, I've never had an issue with it, and I've been doing this 20 years. This is an acceptable uh, method for finding vacuum leaks.